Are you going to listen to Flavor? Yeah. Is that your jam? Is this your jam, girl? <laughs> Who's already on it? Okay. I like you want to you hit my up? I normally just hit the rock up, but up. <laughs> for you, I will hit... What's my? Uh, no, 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 like what number? Oh, 88. It's not even on there. All good. Don't worry about no, it. No, that's fine. 88 point something? Six, yeah. There you go. Here's your my. Welcome team. It is a cracking day in Auckland. Um, it is about 5pm on a Friday. And we are Hello. squeezing out to see somebody Hello. just before traffic gets too hectic. And then should be all on for tonight. Hi. See you in a bit. Keep people outside. In hurling bottles and being abusive to the occupants. Careful, checkpoint. Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a frontline cop at the Mount Wellington Police Station, and this is Ride Along. Round to the right. Careful. Come on, come on. We are in. So, my uh, friends have spotted a stolen vehicle. I'm looking for a white Toyota Corolla. Looks like a rental car that has not been returned. It may have changed hands since it was rented out. Hard to know where they've gone. So we are parked a big place. Let's see what we can find. When we're doing jobs like this, often we don't, often we don't activate the lights and sirens while we're conducting our areas. You know, I'm pretty close to where the vehicle was last seen. Speeding around isn't really going to make it easier to spot, it's going to make it harder to spot. So, I like to go as slowly as I can manage. Definitely spotted something. It's the right kind of car. No, wrong registration. Damn. Crafting, 
Someone's found it. Not me, but someone's found it. That. So great. It's great. Outside the mini golf. Mm. Hey everybody, um, so it has been a very interesting shift despite it only being 6.30. Um, for privacy reasons I can't show you the job that we've just finished attending, um, but I can tell you a little bit about it. Uh, essentially we um, observed a man who was wanted inside a property um, and uh, as we approached that property, locked the doors, we called out to him, um, you know, tried to uh, get him to come out uh, peacefully didn't want to uh, and we weren't able to force entry without uh, any equipment so while we were waiting for some equipment to arrive to help us get into the house um, we just continued to communicate with him um, and uh, eventually uh, convinced him to come out compliantly and um, come through to the custody suite peacefully which was good it's a good result at the end um, yeah so it's now 6 37 it is still sunny and we're heading down to Mission Bay to deal with a bit of disorder that's been going on there. And eventually enforce the liquor ban. But it doesn't start yet. Mm. Mm. 10 pm. So we hate wasting money as much as the next person. And I really hate tipping things out for no reason, but you are not allowed alcohol in alcohol banned areas. Which means it is all going to get tipped out. Either by us or by you. And often it will be accompanied by a $250 fine. So do yourselves a favour and leave your booze at home. Well, good morning everybody, uh, it is half past one, um, I'm uh, just about to head home uh, from a pretty long week, uh, a good week, a good week, but a long week, we had uh, we had a great arrest at the beginning of the week, uh, we managed to pick somebody up with warrants who was also in possession of a firearm illegally, um, so we got a gun off the street and an offender before the courts, which is great, I'll just put that on so you can see me. Um, uh, and then yesterday we had a couple of great jobs um, one particularly great job for me was was the breach of bail that, that I told you about um, I've always considered policing the razor's edge of strategic communication um, I came from um, public relations and communication before the police and, and I always said to people that these skills are so compatible across you know fields and policing is a field where communication you know is is, is our biggest tool our, our most frequently used tool um, so to have a background in that for me, you know, to be able to roll out some communication techniques and to use a couple of different strategies to try and get this person out. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it was a good feeling. Uh, and then today, uh, children, unaccompanied children, um, which isn't always the parents' fault. You know, sometimes kids just leg it from where they're supposed to be uh, and it's easy to lose track. Um, but try and make sure your kids, if you've got kids, no phone numbers and addresses, you know, where they live, what mum and dad or their parent or the caregiver's phone number is, you know, that, that's really important. Uh, and if they know that, then it's much easier for us to bring them back to you um, and, uh, and not to have any further issues. It took us a little while to find out where some of the kids live today, um, which, uh, which was, a, was a bit concerning. Um, yeah, look, that's it. That's it for, for the week. Um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this. Hopefully, I'm answering your questions. Uh, if I haven't, um, chuck them in the comments. Uh, I'm, I'm usually sitting down after the videos go live for the first sort of half an hour to an hour. 
Um, so anything that goes up, I'll, I'll pretty much answer straight away. And then in the days following, I just try and check back in and, and get to them when I can. The last thing I have to say is that uh, on the 16th of November, so a short time after this video goes up, I'm going to be doing a recruitment event at Sylvia Park. We're going to be um, in the shopping mall near Garrison, uh, near the pub out the front, um, near Better Burger on your way if you're walking in from the car park towards the cinema, that little walkway. Um, there's going to be a few cops there, probably going to have the, the dogs uh, down as well uh, and some patrol cars. So come on down, um, you know, I, I'm happy to have a chat to you, show you around a car, uh, answer any questions that you've got and there'll be a whole bunch of other cops there to do the same. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you there.